Hello everybody, my name is Flying Cow one and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this large modern house that you can see right behind me here. Now this house does feature a pool, it is two stories tall and it has two balconies, so watch all the way till the end if you want to see how to make it, and I hope you enjoy the build. Now these are all the blocks that we're going to be using for this build, so if you're going to be building along with me then go ahead and pause the video right now and go collect those blocks, and let's get right into the build here guys. So as you can see I have a layout right here, you can go ahead and ignore it if you are watching. Um, and what we're going to do first is we're going to take our block of quartz, we're just going to place down one, and then we're going to go over three, place down another, go over another three, and then place down another. And then we're going to go over three again, and then come backwards one, and place down one block of black concrete, and then another off of that. And then we're going to go over two, and turn, and place down four. And then off of that four that we placed right there, we're going to go down and diagonal and place down another block of quartz. And then we're just going to follow the pattern of skipping two and then placing two, skipping two again, placing two, skipping two, and then placing one right there, then placing down two quartz blocks. We're going to actually go back over to this corner, place down another one diagonal from that. And then we're going to place down two more black concretes, skip two, place one, and then place down two more block of quartz, two black concretes, two block of quartz, and then three black concretes. We're gonna turn, two more, skip two, place two, and then we will place another block of quartz diagonal from that. Now we're almost done here with the layout here, guys, so let's power through this. Uh, we're gonna skip three, place two, skip two, place one, skip two, place one, and then go diagonal from that, place a block of quartz, and then diagonal from that, place one more black concrete, and that is the entire outline right there. That's the hardest part of the build. So if you made it through that, then congratulations. And now we can move on to the easy stuff. Now what we're going to do is, uh, as you can see, I've already have this floor completely dug out. So you're going to want to do that. And then in place of the uh, dirt or the grass that was there, we're going to place some spruce wooden planks. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And now that we have that part done, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take our block of quartz again. We're going to go over all of these, these three right here. We're just going to go up two more from all of those. And then we're going to go behind right here with the black concrete. We're going to go up two on all of these right behind there. And then we're going to take our block of quartz again, and we're going to go up three from this one diagonal. Now we're gonna go all the way down and connect it with this block right there. So now we will have that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do essentially the same thing over here, except we're going to extend this out by one block and then drag it down and then have it connect right there. So this is what we will have now. And now what we will do is we can go ahead and just continue that down. So we're just going to add two more blocks of black concrete on all of the uh, blocks that we have placed for the outline. And then we're going to go up three on all of the block of quartz that we have. And 
And then we can go ahead and connect all of those four tall quartz towers. And now that we have that part done, what we're going to do is we're going to take our smooth quartz slabs and we're going to go along the outside of that on the top half block. We're going to just outline all of that, just like so. And once we have that, we can go ahead and take our black stained glass panes and we're going to work in on filling in all of these windows right here. So we're going to fill in this window right here. Actually, I think it'd be easier for me to tell you the ones we're, we're going to skip. So we're going to fill them all in except for this three wide one right there. And then this one right here, this one right here is going to be our front door. So we're going to fill in everything else except for those two. Also what we're going to do is right here in between these two um, block of quartz little columns right there, we're going to break out these two in between there. We're just going to create a little one by two window right there. And then let's get this last window here. There we have it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our block of quartz and we're going to go around the top of all of those windows. And now we can take our smooth quartz slab and we're going to fill in this little area right here. And over the little columns right there, we're going to just place down two so that they connect. And now we can go behind those we're going to place an extra one behind all three of those and then from that we will place a lantern so this is now what it will look like and now we can go on the inside the first floor is complete we're going to go on the inside right here we're just going to place down our first stair right there and then place an upside down one and right side up upside down and continue that pattern until we reach what will be our second floor. So there we have it. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take our jungle planks and we're going to fill in this whole big area right here. And we are only going to fill it in until we reach this part right here. Once we reach this part, we can go ahead and take our smooth uh, quartz slabs. And we're just going to fill in that part right there. Now let's continue on with putting in our second floor.
And once that is all said and done, we of course are going to need to place some lanterns down here so that's not completely pitch black. Let's add another smooth quartz slab right there and then put down a lantern. And there we have it. Now that we have that part done, what we're going to do is we're going to take our black concrete and we're going to go right here and place down two right there. Then go over three, place down two more. Go over another three, place down two. And then go down three and place down one right there. Now we will take our block of quartz and we're going to just place down two right there. And then two way over here. And then we will also place down one right here. That is three away from this uh, black concrete wall. And then one right there, three away from that. And then one right there, three away from that. So that's what we will have. And then let's continue this outline on the back side. Now we will place down one black concrete right there, go over three, and then place another little corner just like that. And then diagonal from that, we will place one block of quartz. And now from this, what we will do is we're gonna place down two blocks of quartz right there go away three, place down two more blocks, and in between that we will fill it in with black concrete. Then from this we will place down two black concretes, go over two, place two more, go over two again, and then place down another corner. And then diagonal from that, we will place down one block of quartz. So this is what the outline will look like of the second floor, and once you have that done, we can go ahead and go along all the black concretes and raise them up by two blocks. And once we have that done, what we will do is now we will raise all the white or, or all the quartz blocks up by three. Once we have that all complete, we're going to go around that and connect them all. And then we can go ahead and build over the layer where the windows will be. Once we have that part complete, what we will then do is we're going to take these three right here and we're going to extend it out by an extra block and then connect it down right there on that side and then go do the same on the other side. And then we're going to just simply fill that part in with quartz slab just as we did on the lower level.
And then also just like we did on the lower level, we're gonna go behind, place down an extra slab behind all of those, and then place down a lantern hanging from those. Now, unlike on the lower level, what we will do is we are also going to add a little glass railing in between all of the pillars. Just like that. And now that we have that part done, what we're going to do is we're going to take our smooth quartz slabs. We're going to add another layer onto the already one block extended a uh, layer of quartz block. And now that we have that part done, what we're going to do is we're going to go on the inside right here. We're going to just go ahead and fill this all in with quartz blocks. And then in here, we're going to place some lanterns down, of course, in the corners. And now for one of our final steps, we're going to just fill in these windows right here. Or actually, let's leave this one open so that it is a doorway. Let's actually take this right here and extend it right there. There we go, changing my mind mid-build. Something that I do sometimes. And then we're just gonna fill in all the rest of these here. Then of course right here we're going to just break out those three blocks, put down some more glass panes right there, and that is the complete house tutorial. Now for a few little minor details what we will do, not so minor, but in the front right here we're just going to add a little pool, so we're just going to build, we're just going to put down some quartz slabs right there, bring them over connect them and we will dig out this part right here and then beneath that we will also dig out that area right there and we're gonna place it with our quartz blocks I meant to actually make this um, 2 by 10 right here, so that's what the pool dimensions are going to be. And we can of course dig out that grass right there that we can see. Dig it out on the ends here, and then we will fill this in with water. And there now we have a pool, and now we are also going to be digging out this area right here underneath this first little uh, patio walkway here. We're going to dig it all out and we're going to replace it with our jungle planks. And then we will add another jungle plank layer around the pool so that it uh, connects with the house itself.
It's a little better now that we have that. We got around the pool right here. And then go ahead and add in some more jungle planks right there. So there we go. Now that we have that part done, what we're going to do is just go over here, stick this part out here actually as well, just to kind of square it off. And now what we're going to do, now that we have that for our final step, we will be taking our oak fence and our oak uh, leaves right there. And we're just going to go around the outside right there on the sides, put down some more right over here. And we're going to just put down some oak leaves on top of those just to make some what nice little trimmed hedge trees kind of surrounding the house, kind of giving us some privacy if you have any neighbors. Then we'll do the same thing on this side over here. Let's just place down one right there. And then every other block for at least a couple blocks down, it looks like I did six. And there we have it guys, so that is the full uh, large modern house tutorial, complete with the pool and the little hedge trees there, as you can see. Uh, so thank you everybody who completed the video and watched all the way till the end, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, thank you so much for doing that um, and supporting me. Uh, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment down below suggesting anything that you'd like me to build. I do read and reply to all my comments and I do actually build most of the things that all you guys are suggesting to me so definitely don't be afraid to do that um and as always again thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video peace